Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I'm here to share my So Frugal 22 so Frugal 22 um, challenge make. So um, So Frugal was a challenge that uh, Ruan from uh, the Yorkshire Sew Girl and Sam from Frugalissima had put together. This was the second year I think that they did this where the whole challenge was this year it was just any free pattern paired with any fabric from your stash any frock, any any type of um, clothing item, outfit, whatever, and that you needed to post it on March 31st, which was yesterday as you're watching this. So um, I, this is, you know, all entries had to be posted yesterday, but I just wanted to talk about my entry a little bit more. So I did go ahead and post my entry yesterday. Um, they had a whole bunch of prizes. So if you didn't participate this year, definitely mark it for your calendar for next year. It's usually around this um, time or it has been the past two years and it's just a really fun challenge to take part in. Um, I did an inspiration video back in February with some ideas um, on how to make a free module with um, free patterns and I will link that video up here for you guys right now but um, yeah so I I actually in my head I'm like maybe I will get a little module done of all the free patterns and fabrics and then <laughs> reality set in I'm currently in the middle of sewing up um, a few things for my uh, spring capsule wardrobe of which you can see my rack here is filling up. This is everything that I haven't filmed yet. Um, so that will be coming to you here very soon. Um, just little bits and pieces here and there. Um, the videos throughout the spring, even though I have finished almost everything, um, I'll be sh sprinkling in showing you what I've made throughout the season. So um, stay tuned for that. It just was not realistic for me to add six more pieces onto my workload. On top of also, you know, my mom, um, we're coming up on spring break. So my kids work schedule at school has been busy, you know, with tests and stuff before the spring break. And um, yeah, I've been, I found myself doing a lot of um, helping people study helping people with various projects. And I also feel like even once we get back from spring break, it's gonna be a lot of that, like it feels like it amps up towards the end of the year. Um, Cause when, yeah, by the time spring break is over and we're back from all of that, um, God, they only have like a little over a month of school left, which is crazy. They're done May 25th, I believe, something like that. Um, it's before Memorial Day. So anyway, it just, time goes too fast. <laughs> But um, I did have time to sew up one item and this is it. Guys, I, I love this so much. So this is the core t-shirt by Closet Core Patterns. Um, this was released, free pattern was released uh, maybe last fall? It hasn't been all that long. Um, it has two options. It has kind of a cropped length and I use the word cropped very um, loosely here because it's not really cropped, but it's great with high, high waisted trousers, um, with short sleeves. And then it also features a hip length, um, as well with a three quarter length sleeve. Um, it has, gosh, what can I say about this? It comes in their full size range from a size zero to a size 32. I'll lift whatever that bust is. It's meant for fab for uh, knit fabrics that have at least a 30% stretch, but it does say that 100% cotton jersey and interlocks are fine, um, which those type of fabrics, you're gonna get your stretch purely from the way it was knitted. So it's just mechanical stretch. A lot of times those fabrics have a little bit less um, forgiveness, like um, recovery. But um, yeah, so I went with this because I knew I wanted to use one of these knits from my stash. So um, I'll talk about the pattern first and then we'll talk a little bit about the fabric. So the pattern, I did the cropped length um, with the short sleeves, obviously. I made the size 10, which is what I make in their patterns, but I did a full bust adjustment and added a dart. Can you see the dart there? I added a dart. Um, because it's a boxy shirt, I thought I could probably get away with the dart, um, that it would add some beautiful shaping. Um, I could have finagled it to where I didn't have, you know, do like a dartless FBA. Um, but I don't know. I kind of liked the idea, especially since I was using fabric that did not have a lot of recovery or a ton of stretch, that it would be nice to do the dart. And I'm really glad I did. I think it gives, again, a nice little shape, but it's still a boxy t-shirt. Um... Let's see, what else does this pattern feature? Um, oh, it also has, I'm gonna take this off here, two secs. 
So this pattern also comes with a uh, pocket, a little pocket that you can put on the shirt. I thought about putting it on there, but then I really hate putting pockets on my boobs. <laughs> It just draws attention where I don't really want attention, so I left it off. But the other thing it features is this, and I've seen this on nice high-end ready-to-wear t-shirts, it features a binding that covers your um, shoulder seam allowances and the back of the neck, and then to the other, which is just a really cool feature. It's optional, I mean, I could have just, I mean, because these my um, shoulder seams are surged, and obviously, I mean, the neckband, when you get around to the front, it's been surged and not stitched in place because the, the outside. Um, but I could have just left that and it would have made a really, really quick sew, but, but I thought I would try it and I'm so glad I did. Mostly because this is a very stable knit, cotton knit, and um, it worked really well. I have included my little tag on there. Um, I surge off my darts when I do it with um, knits. I actually sew them with my serger. So there's my darts on the inside. And then, just so you can get a little closer look here. So it's got the um, top stitching that goes all the way from one shoulder around the neckline through to the other shoulder, um, which is just something kind of neat and different. And I, again, I'm glad that I, really glad that I did that. I've also seen people use um, like a twill tape or something around their um, that same neck area to keep things from stretching out. And I th think that would work because the front of the neckline would still stretch um, to get it on and off over your head. But yeah, I, I've really loved that detail. It was just kind of fun. So um, the fabric, let me stick this, hold on. Let me put this back on Lena now. <laughs> okay, so this fabric that I used is 100% organic cotton jersey. And this is actually the Alabama Channon cotton jersey. I um, got this in a few different colors. So in October of 2020, I was supposed to go to another um, a Sew Kansas uh, retreat with um, the sewing workshop, Linda Lee in Topeka, Kansas. Obviously the pandemic hit. <laughs> and um, I put a deposit down like the previous fall, I guess for that workshop in October. The pandemic hit, um, they did still end up having it. I did not go um, for multiple reasons, but we were in the middle of a pandemic, but they offered that they could either, because of the pandemic, they would either return my $100 deposit or I could use it towards um, patterns and fabrics that were there. And my friend who I was going to go with to the retreat um, and did end up continuing to go and so she was there and so she FaceTimed me or sent me pictures texted that some of the Alabama Channon they were getting I don't know if they were getting rid of the Alabama Channon line or what but it was on sale and um, it's just such real it's just such good stuff I've used it um, a couple of times before and when she sent me the picture I'm trying to think I think I bought it in four different colors I think I bought like a navy color this brick red color um, an olive color and then kind of a camel color I think that's it. I think I just bought it in four colors. And I think I got a yard and a half or two yards of each, I can't remember. But um, I just wanted to grab it while it was on sale and since I technically already spent the money, it felt like free fabric, <laughs> even though it wasn't. Um, anyway, and then they just, they mailed it to me. So I've been sitting on these four cuts of fabric for um, a year and a half now, I guess, and um, decided that it would be great to use for this pattern. So, and I love it. It's so perfect for this. Um, because it doesn't have a lot of recovery, I w didn't really want to make anything close fitting. It needed to be something a little bit boxier. Again, this pattern calls for at least 30% stretch. Um, and I think this has just that. And that's probably more for getting things on and over your head because um, the sleeve is pretty loose and then obviously it's a very boxy fit. But um, you can also use slinkier uh, fabrics that have a lot more stretch if you wanted to. Um, and I don't know, if I used a rayon or like a viscose jersey, I might not sew the darts. I may eliminate those because then I think the drape in the fabric would be enough that I wouldn't need the dart. But with this... 100% cotton, I'm glad I have the dart, if that makes sense. It just holds its shape a little bit better. So um, yeah, that is my newest free make. <laughs> Feels free on so many levels. Um, but yeah, 
I just had a lot of fun. It made up really quickly. I'm over the moon with the color. It goes with my spring capsule colors. So, I mean, it's not as bright of a red as I'm working with, but it'll totally work. And um, I'm excited to throw that into my wardrobe and uh, get wearing that because I think it's just going to be a great layering piece. I know it's not very exciting, um, but what a great wardrobe piece. <laughs> and it's a free pattern. This is one of the nicest free patterns I think I've ever made, to be honest. Even like the attention to detail, like with that little binding across the back neck, I was very impressed. Um, so yeah, I think I would definitely make the, um, if I did the hip length version, I think I would go with something drapier like a rayon or viscose knit, uh, just because I think that would be a little too boxy for me um, at that length. But I would definitely continue to do the cropped version with the three quarter length sleeve. Um, in this type of fabric. I think that that would be nice, but um, just proportionally with boxy because I have a large chest. I feel like I have to be careful on where things go, but there you have it. This was my entry into the So Frugal 22 challenge. Again, if you didn't participate this year, I highly recommend jumping on board uh, next year. I'm sure they'll do it again. Um, or I hope they do it again. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled next year for that. Okay, what do we have going forward? I feel like this is going to be kind of a short video, but um, oh, today's Feature Friday, I forgot to mention. So sorry. Today's Love Notions Feature Friday is the Sunday Romper. This one is such a good pattern. Highly recommend grabbing, I say this every week though, um, but this one is a really good one. So I'll pop a picture of the one that I have made. I love to wear these dressed up, or this one dressed up, this little romper dressed up. It also has um, pants, and um, I think you can even do the pants in a woven if you wanted to. You need the top to be knit because it's got to be able to stretch over your hips and head and all that kind of stuff. But there's elastic at the waist. It also has a dress version. Um, I made the romper and I wore it to death. So this was released not last summer, but the summer before, I believe. And I was a tester for it. And I have worn this red version so much. It was a cotton modal that I used for my stash. And um, I had to toss it because I, it looked so raggedy. I wore and washed that, I mean, at least once a week, at least once a week, all for two summers and just completely killed it. <laughs> Um, I'm probably not the most careful with my wash, to be honest. I probably should have been letting it line dry. But, um, you know, some things I just want to toss in the dryer just so it can be done. And, you know, I'm a busy mom. All of that kind of stuff. So, um, anyway, that is $5 today only. So, grab that if you haven't got that one in your catalog. It's a great deal. Okay going forward. So I can't believe I forgot to mention that. Sunday, I have a stripe matching video for you. I have made, actually, can you see it? Oh, you can. My Wanderlust dress. Wanderlust. I have such a hard time saying that. Wanderlust dress from Pattern Emporium. Um, I'm so pleased with the stripe matching. Can you see the chevron from here? It's so good. <laughs> um, but I'm showing you how I do cut out my stripes and all that stuff on Sunday. And then Tuesday is an exciting video because not only is it a pattern release, but it is a pattern release that I did not make for myself. I made it for um, one of the males in my family. So that's exciting. Um, and we made a few iterations and I also made some, I did some hacking to it and I'm showing you how I did those hacks. I filmed all that. So Tuesday is is a very exciting video as well. Um, yeah, just got a whole bunch of fun stuff planned going forward, but those are kind of the next two videos to look forward to. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you get some sewing in this weekend, um, and I will see you next time. Bye!